All right, welcome to the Kellen Coach Show. I'm Kel Dansby. This obviously isn't Coach. <laughs> this is Connor Cape, host of the new local sports show here on ECAV Radio. What's up, Connor? What's up, Kel? How you doing? I'm doing good, doing good. So we're talking the hard stuff about Johnson County that I usually don't get to talk about. We're going to ask some tough questions. We're going to review pretty much all sports here at Johnson County for the rest of the year. We're going to start off with the baseball team and... My question, all these questions, by the way, can be sent to our Twitter. Before I get too far, send it to our Twitter. It's JCC Athletics. Uh, it's at JCCC Athletics Twitter lingo. So that's where you send your questions. But this question is, why don't more people go out to see the baseball games? We have a good baseball team. The field looks nice. What does the school have to do to get more attendance at these games? What do you think, Connor? I think they need to advertise the games a little better. As a student, I don't think many people know when baseball games are, where they are, who's playing who. I mean, what conference are we in? What are we playing for? I think everybody's in the Jayhawk conference. I don't even know, tell you the truth. That's, that's good. Are we in the Jayhawk conference? I, I, I know in basketball, it's the Jayhawk conference. I couldn't tell you what other sports are in. Well, we have advertisements for all the things going on at the Polsky Theater and Yardley Hall, but we don't have advertisements for sports. I never see flyers. I never see any... Uh, anything around campus that says, hey, baseball game tonight. Yeah, I don't see anything like that either. I don't know what's to deal with that. Baseball team, and they've been good for the past couple of seasons, always a good product. Um, I got out to a couple games last year, and I liked it. I mean, they have double headers. They don't charge you anything, so it's not like it costs money. It's free. It's you get to go out baseball. there. Free baseball, yeah. Yeah, free base. baseball is baseball, if you ask me. It's a good product of baseball, but yet no one goes out there. Um, as far as the team goes, do you think we need to change our mascot? You know, that's something that's been around. Everybody's been buzzing about this. Mascot yeah. change, color change. You think that would help? Uh, yeah, it, a rebranding like that would definitely get people excited. You'd be able to say, hey, this is us. We're a new team this year. It's not going to be the same old baseball team that you've been having around this school. We're new. we got a new name, new colors, new jerseys. Come see us. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for the bison. Watch, this is going to be my celebration. You can't see my foot, but I'm kicking it furiously under the table. You give me a new <laughs> mascot out there in left yes. field. I'm telling you, I would be the mascot on a baseball field. I'd be sliding on the tarp if it was raining. I'd be sliding home and, like, throwing, like, a fit, like, taking the base off. I can do all that. I'm telling you, anyone watching this, sign me up. And the bison wouldn't be a bad move. I'm not against the bison. A lot of people are around here. And I like the Cavaliers. It's a great tradition. But if it was to change... I'm not too against it. The color scheme is a little weird, but I could go with the, the colors what is that, are, mauve? Yeah, the colors are a little strange, but as far as, like, Cavaliers to Bison, how many, how many students here can tell you what a Cavalier is? What does Cavalier have to do with Kansas? Bison. Yeah. Yeah, That's Bison. our history. Yeah, they're strong, too. Big, strong animals. A Cavalier, I picture, like, a skinny guy, kind of weird mustache. Yeah, the handlebar, a little curly, thin mustache. That, but he has to have, like, the little soul patch, like, right there. And a little tiny sword swinging around. Uh, yeah, not even a manly sword. It's like, like he's a, a fencer. Claymore. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I can't do it. So the bison would be a, a pretty good change, I think. Um, that's to change to more new things that the school is trying to do, you know, besides mascots and all this. One thing they don't discuss that kind of is over my head is why a school this big, this good at sports, doesn't have a football team. There's plenty of space, no football team, no football stadium. Is this something you think they should change to? Definitely. I was thinking about this when I was coming in here for my first year. I was like, is there a football team? I never heard anything. Nope, no football team. 22,000 students, how many people go there? 23, 24. We need a football team. We got enough students. Yeah, huge campus. Ton. There's more students here than most of the D1 universities. Yes. I mean, there, you look at like... D1 AA schools like Xavier, Davidson, they have like 3,000 students. If Villanova has a Division I football team, we can have a football team. I mean, look at where we come from. High school football around Johnson County, Kansas is huge. Yeah, Lots huge. of people would come play. Look at the three schools that players, if they came here, can get recruited to after their two years. That sells you on players right there. KU, right down, right there. Half an hour away. Really yeah. Half an hour away. Yeah. <laughs> K-State. And Mizzou's not far. Mizzou going to the SEC. So you can play, realistically, maybe in a couple of years with realignment and stuff for three different colleges or conferences. 
in major college football by yeah. just coming to the school. Look at Nebraska. That's four hours away. Iowa State. That's not far. Iowa. There's plenty of schools around here that are looking for players to play. And this could be a hotbed for that. It, football's not that expensive. We, we just saw them give out $700,000 to build a building with two classrooms. I can start a football program with $700,000. You give me a mill, anyone can start a football program with a mill. Helmets don't cost oh, yeah. that much. I mean, the stadium would cost the most, but look at any major college. Football is what drives them. Football is the money maker. Football it make itself would, back. It would pay it for itself very quickly. I mean, very you get quickly. nice crowds at the basketball games, sure. At outdoor events, you don't even get too many people there. Football, people watch anything football. I mean, you think about the crowds that some high school games get get around here, and you keep a lot of those local products here. You're getting all those people to pack your stadium, and the casual fans just around school. It brings in stuff like cheerleading squads. The Golden Girls would get more revenue and bigger, uh, I guess, notoriety from it, from being at a football game, even more so. It seems like it would basketball. help everybody involved on campus, like from cheerleaders to just casual fans. Yeah, it seems like it would help everyone it would pay for itself right away and no one's pushing for this there's no i haven't heard a chirp about it it's kind of like the unspoken truth it's like voldemort's name in harry potter it is taboo <laughs> it is the sport that shall not be named like you can't even talk <laughs> about it around here it's crazy and everyone knows it's missing everyone wants football everyone wants to watch something there's people walking i they're watching the show outside uh, <laughs> so I mean, football, I'm sure, even if we ask the girls outside, they would agree football is what's missing from this school. And that's something I really like to see push for. I mean, if I don't go to these little meetings, they had one last night of the Congress, not Congress people, but the student senate. Yeah, even above student senate, whatever the officers of the school's name, but the dean and all these other people. Board of Trustees. There you go. Board of Trustees. See, you can tell I don't go to these things. I don't even know what it's called. But the Board of Trustees meeting never is it on the docket. They don't ever say anything about it. Football is just completely missing. And there's no schools around here even with football. No, there's there's nothing. There's like Avila down See, in Missouri. And it's crazy because this school can produce number one teams. Uh, moving into one of the number one teams, what this show is usually about, hence the girls' basketball, is girls basketball. They're number one in the nation. One loss this year. Um, usually I'm here talking them every week. It's nice to get a little bit away from that and talk about like some cool issues. But getting back to them, they're going into the stretch. And it's crazy because this is the first time where I've seen where maybe girls basketball is the bigger ticket than men's basketball. Definitely. Definitely hear more about women's basketball, what they're doing, how excited everyone is for women's basketball to be ranked number one. Yeah, I mean, if and if you go out and watch the games, the, the girls' games are as excited as the ga guys' games are. Like, the guys, you know, maybe they have some dunks here and there. But the women, the defense is full court. They just run a press the whole game. They're, oh, heck yeah. They beat teams by 50. It's like watching the Rucker Park game. Look at UConn with Maya Moore, their women's team. Everyone got up for that. There's no reason why we can't get up for this. Go out and watch. It's exciting. Yeah, and I think, especially coming down the stretch, the women will be hosting their postseason games here. The men's squad won't. They have to go on the road uh, if they look to take the division. And I think around the school, the case is that a lot of people feel that the women's game is the best ticket right now. It's the best game going. I know next week we have the film broadcast for the cable channel, and uh, the women's game will be as packed as the men's. And this is like the first time I've seen that. It is crazy to even think that the women's women's basketball can be that big. Yeah, just, I mean, look at what drives March Madness. It's not the women's tournament, it's the men's tournament. So the fact that everyone's getting geeked up about women, that's, it's a big deal. You know the team's good. One thing um, before we go, actually, that I also want to see is it's cool because being at the games, uh, you get to watch the Golden Girls perform, and it's, like, cool. They're, like, cheerleaders slash dance squad, and... It seems like they also don't get enough notoriety and kind of funding and all this stuff. And I know they have like a little calendar fundraiser and stuff, but they're not out really supported by the school. They don't have like functions downstairs and all that stuff. That's something I'd like to see too, because a legit cheerleading squad. I saw a school come in the other day and like they're like had male cheerleaders and tossing people oh, and all man. that stuff. Yeah, like competition status. And 
that's something we also don't have here at the school. You think you'd be interested? Like, if they were like, okay, we need male cheerleaders. Like, okay, you don't play a sport. Like, you know, little, you know, you get a little bit of money or whatever scholarship type thing they have going. Um, would you do it? Would I be a yell leader? Is, is that what it's called? That's what a male cheerleader is, a yell leader. Well, I don't, I'm going to go with the excuse that I'm not strong enough to throw girls around. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could throw there's literally a girl who's like 89 oh, yeah. pounds some of those flyers are pretty tiny chicks but oh well yeah maybe I'd do it maybe I'd do it help me pay for school I'd do it yeah I'm with you I'd do it too I don't care I, if help me pay for school I wear the little the little outfit whatever you want I I, I guess the guys that wear pants right I don't are have to wear sure a skirt you wouldn't wear a skirt I mean how much are they giving me for school <laughs> this, this I, you don't want to <laughs> see these legs in a skirt but <laughs> I'd wear the little pants or whatever the little kind of shirt they have to do. That's the easiest gig in the world. They get to yell into a big bullhorn megaphone. Yeah. I do that at games anyway. <laughs> you know what would get this going? If we had a football team. It, it all comes back to the football team. Football is the driving force at some of the best colleges, especially a college this big. It could just do wonders. So if anyone out there is watching, if you have any way of changing this, telling, hey, Kel and Connor, we want this changed. This is it. We have spoken. We have determined we're getting a football team. Yeah, starting here first. Emails of those board of trustees. Let's get that <laughs> out there. Get a petition going. Yep. There's no we, reason why we can't get a football team going here. We're gonna get this going. You heard it here first. But I'd like to thank everyone for joining us. Kel and Coach Show back to normal next week. I know it's sad. Everyone's gonna miss Connor. Maybe you could come. Come hang out. Coach Conrad will I be will here with us. You. Uh, make sure you check out his show, ECAV Radio, local sports show, great talking KU, Mizzou, a uh, little K State. Uh, K K State doesn't little get too much K-State. love around here. K State right now, basketball, they're not doing so hot. So talk all the good local sports. Any questions you guys have for us, hit us up on Twitter. You can hit me up on my Twitter or JCCC at Athletics. Anything you guys need, make sure you check out the rest of the episodes. We're out of here.